Okay, this is a Linux G16 Q3. Uh, I think 1987. It's when this was installed. This was kind of the Morphodite furnaces that were uh, they're originally uh, uh, the old type 80% furnace. There was a modification made to this one by Linux to put an inducer on it. Now that inducer is right there. Uh, I actually think this thing would probably run without the inducer. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to do to this was do a little bit of a troubleshoot. Okay, I've turned this on with a call for heat and you can hear that noise, that humming noise. Okay, that's coming from the inducer. Now obviously, if I pull this cover off the inducer, then I can see it's not rotating. Okay, you can hear by the fairly loud hum that we probably have a problem up here in the inducer. And indeed, I can get it to move a little bit, but it's not going to start. Okay, to double check to make sure that's what's making the noise, let's do an amp draw check. Okay, clamp one of the wires, drawing 1.4, and it says it's drawing uh, 1.24, and I'm showing 1.4. So, pretty close. So, fairly simple. We just figured out what's wrong with this thing. The inducer is stuck. Now, one of the things I would caution you on, uh, if you have a bird gets into one of the vents in these things, and this is a vent here, so there's no vent hooked up to it, but if birds gets in there, they will go all the way down to the inducer. And they usually get stuck in there. And of course they die in there. Well, make sure you don't have some kind of obstruction in there that's causing that. In this case, it's not an obstruction. The bearings are wore out on the motor. That's just a little shaded pole motor. There's nothing special about that thing. And about the only way a shaded pole motor fails is the bearings go out of it. And this uh, looks like it's got the... Uh, the rotor is dragging on it. I will pull that apart and we'll kind of look at it and see what uh, what makes it tick. Okay, I actually got this inducer apart. I'm kind of amazed I got this blower wheel off without cutting the shaft off. It's got to be a first. Usually those uh, blower wheels are uh, rusted on really tight. Okay, housing right there. Uh, what I wanted to show you, here's the field winding of the inducer and this is the rotor. Uh, what I was most interested in is you can see where this has been dragging it's a little odd because usually they drag them one end or the other. It looks like both bearings wore out at the same time or something here. But you can see just a little bit of drag like that will stop this motor. It just won't turn. It just sits there and humps. Uh, it's dragging on this, which is the field. And if you look... And of course that fits in there like that, with bearings on either side, and the uh, uh, the rotor is dragging on the stator. There's your stator, and they just won't run. They'll just uh, they'll jam, and that's what half of that motor. Uh, these things are generally not repairable. Uh, the these bearings wear out, they're just bushings, bronze bushings, and once they wore out, that's going to hang up 
can. It's not gonna, there's nothing you can do. Occasionally you can oil them up and that'll give them enough clearance to run for a day or two, but then they, uh, they lock up again. But anyway, that's what happened to that inducer on the Lennox furnace. So as, so as simple as that seems, uh, that is troubleshooting the inducer. You can usually tell by the hum, uh, double check by clamping to make sure and then uh, you may want to pull the inducer out so that you can look at the uh, uh, at the fan and be sure there's not something stuck in it. And that's the old Lennox inducer.